Lights on. Hi, Julie. Thank you for joining us. You tuned in at the right time because if you want to simplify your kitchen, maybe get rid of a couple of appliances. You have tuned in to the blender that the pros use. There's only a couple of really big, powerful names. This is one of them. Today we have a value that is HSN exclusive. In fact, it's over $500 value, $579. We've got it today at a lower price than just the Blendtec alone. You know Blendtec, they are world famous for their award-winning videos, Will It Blend, where they have blended a world of stuff just to demonstrate the power. We've got them here. You are getting a configuration where you even get the twisty jar. That's $130 by itself. You're getting everything you need, including some recipes from a brand that is so proud to be made right here in Orem, Utah, putting American families to work. Everything is done here, even the components, right here in the U.S. And you're going to be able to do your sauces, your hot soups. The blender has so much power, it heats up the soup. How about ice creams? How about frozen margaritas or lemonades for summertime. How about your peanut butters, your flowers if you're gluten intolerant? This thing does so much. And to tell us all about it, his name is Shane Hymas. He is our brand expert. He has been with Blendtec for what, more than 10 years now, 10 Shane? years, Leslie. That's amazing. I'm glad to be back. I know, and so many people have said, oh my gosh, this is worth every penny. Why didn't <laughs> I buy it sooner? Well, today is final quantities right here of this model. We're so, I love <laughs> this demonstration, especially love when you get oh, to the ice cream. Incredible deal too. Welcome. Trust me, I've been working for the company for a long time. This is an excellent deal. So just like you said, these machines are used all over the world by commercial businesses, restaurants, professional chefs, because they do what they are supposed to do. Right? They blend and they do it extremely well. But it's kind of hard to say that they're a blender because they're a multifaceted tool. Oh, they yeah. can replace about 12 different appliances in your kitchen. They're just absolutely amazing. Now, oh, yeah. one of the things that we actually start out with right away is we're always trying to, especially as parents, and I'm a parent of three. Aww. Uh, we try to find unique ways of hiding vegetables and things into <laughs> our food. Day. So we're going to show you a ton of different ways to be able to do that. But one of the best ways is a refreshing treat that the kids always love. They love smoothies. They love juices. I'm gonna we're going to do a whole juice for you. This down. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Go grilled for it. cheese. I was actually jealous. I was, mm, so I was wanting yeah. that. Mine. So this is a, a whole fruit and vegetable juice. You can pile in anything. Now, you'll notice that I'm going to stick some things in here that you normally wouldn't place in a blender. Yeah. Now, this is pineapple with the core. Oh the gosh. core is actually on the pineapple. Now, the core is tough to chew, but that's where all the fiber is. Mm -hmm. We're going to put strawberries with the stems. They're green. They're actually healthy for you. So we just wash them appropriately, put them in there. The kiwi with the fuzz. Now, that is actually what? a great source of phytonutrients, plant-based nutrition. We want to keep all that stuff in there. Now, the seeds of the, the melons as well. The seeds of the melons, full of fiber, antioxidants. They're full of magnesium, all the things we need to be able to get into our diets. Yum. So and of whole course, juices, I mean, really. The best way, yeah, all juices. The best way that you can get greens into your kids' diets because kids do not like greens. It's just <laughs> throw them in their smoothies and then You're they'll right. never know the difference. My kids actually think it's weird if they don't have a green or something green in a smoothie. They're like, uh, what'd you put in here, Dad? This you know, my green. twins drink smoothies too. They drink the whole juices too. <laughs> they don't even know. Don't you put a banana in there, they're happy. Oh, exactly. Right? Now let's take a tour on the machine. Now okay. the first thing that most people are a little bit worried about with appliances is how do they use it? Okay. Now the machines, or Blendtec specifically, is built to be able to do this for you. Now on the front touch screen, if you can actually zoom in here, we have all these different icons. There's six pre-programmed blend cycles that are very easy to understand, but even more, all you have to do is just follow the recipe, push a program, and the machine is actually designed to run for you. That's so it smart. does, it takes the guesswork no out of blending. No babysitting. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now the first little icon here is the sauces, dips, and batters. Then we have our margarita button. We have our <laughs> smoothie button here. We have our ice creams and frozen yogurts, our whole juices, and our soups, syrups, and fondues. And believe it or not, these machines will cook a hot soup. There's not a heating element. We'll show you how no it does. No more soup out of a can, Shane. E exactly. No sodium, no preservatives. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and push the whole juice button here, and we'll see how the machine works. Okay. Now, the square jar, as you can see, the machine has a square jar. Yeah. And it's designed that way so it flows the material right down into the blade. And I love that you guys call it the wild side jar. The wild jar. side jar. Yeah, yeah that's and a this fist is, side. This is unique or patented by Blendtec. It is patented. It's only a Blendtec thing. Okay. So the machine and the way that this designed is to force the material right to the bottom of the jar consistently. Okay, so that. Gives you a perfect blend every single time. Oh, yeah. And Shane, you and yeah. I were talking about how everything from the design to the components, you know, to, to the, the engineering, to the engineering, it's all made in the USA. So if you've ever been frustrated, Correct. 
because there was no accountability because you didn't know where it was made. I mean, this is Lentech proudly made in Orem, Utah. Exactly. There's over 300 families that are supported by our business and built in America. Now, we build almost everything that you see on that machine, the electronics, the jars, the metal, the blades, everything that you see on the inside of the jar, even the motor is built in our facilities. That's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Now, what's great about that, though, is we can control the quality of the product that we're delivering to our consumers. Right. So we don't have to sit there and worry about the quality of, of the blade, the quality and of the different things that really make the blender and, unique. And we walked away because, of course, it's loud with our microphones, but that's what you're going to do. You don't want to stand there and pulse and wait, right? You're going to walk away and answer emails, get the kids off to school, get your you know husband or wife off to work. You know, you've exactly. got things to do. You don't want to stand over a blender. People comment frequently on how amazing it is because it does the work for you. Now, look at how smooth that was. Yeah. There was no chunks. Everything is blended thoroughly. That's what restaurants are paying for. Now, go ahead and taste that. Yay. That's a small straw, too, and you're not going to have to worry about it getting any Yeah, uh, it's supposed to be a smoothie, not a chunk. Yeah, smoothie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mmm. <laughs> oh, that's... Very refreshing. Mm. And your kids will never know that there's greens in there. And starting off your day like that, you know, nobody's going to eat like four pounds of broccoli or three bags <laughs> of spinach, right? You just, it's not realistic. This is an easy way to get those greens in. Extremely easy. Mm -hmm. Now, you, uh, we were actually talking about how easy it is to get in for your kids' diets. Now, one of the big things that we always deal with, especially as parents, is when they come home from school, the kids want an after-school snack. Now, what we're going to show you next is the uh, twister jar. Mm. Now, the twister jar is a unique item. Now, anything that's thick or that is Thick. You guys like to say sticky or thicky. I'm a guy. I like. I really don't. He's like, like I'm to gonna take that. the Y off. <laughs> but you know, Shane, what's awesome about shopping at HSN is that you would normally have to buy this separately. And it's hundred and thirty dollars. Hundred and thirty dollars. You're yes. getting it included today. You're gonna make your own peanut butters and almond butters. Those oh are yes, expensive. and one of the things my my kids love is the chocolate hazelnut spread. So you can mm. get really creative. You want to throw some chocolate chips in there. Your kids are gonna love anything that comes out of it. You can even do things like sorbets and ice creams. Anything that's thick. Now, yeah. how you'll do that is just by using your manual speeds. Now, when we start getting things that are thick, what the tines on this lid do is they help us to scrape the sidewalls of the jar so we don't have to stop and then push something down and then stop, start it again. Mm -hmm. So it just allows us to be able to do something very thick, very clean, and very easy. Very sticky and sticky, you could say it. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I want you to think about how much you paid for your last jar of peanut butter. How much you paid for a jar of salsa, right? For your tortilla chips, right? How much you paid for guacamole or just, you know, uh, you know, any store-bought pre-made item. Remember, you're making sauces and smoothies and juices. You can make your own ice cream, your nut butters, um, your frozen drinks. Heck, if you wanted to, you can make a, you know, a soda slushy. I mean, this yeah. thing does it all. Now look at how smooth that peanut butter is mm. already. That was and only warm. about 20, 25 seconds of blending time. Mm -hmm. Now think. Anything that you want to throw in that nut butter, anything that you want to get creative with, you can just throw that right in there. Your children will love it. It's a healthy snack. You can feel confident about what you're getting your kids instead of just giving them a, bun a bunch of sugar. And by the so way, you gotta taste that. it comes out warm. And it comes it's out warm, so too. It's so good. Cause, and, and why does it come out warm? How come we can make soup? It's actually it? the friction of the blade. There's not a heating element in there. The, the blade can actually spin over 300 miles per hour. Now, if you don't know what that means, it just means simply that it's an incredibly powerful machine. Mm. That's the fastest blade speed of any machine on the market. And it just can heat things up very well. Mm. Now, what's great about the machine, though, is we don't want to cook our smoothies or our whole juices. So that's where those pre-programmed cycles become really handy for you, is you're not going to over-blend or over-process certain recipes. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how the blade. Now, we talked about the design of the blade and the patented jar. One of the things that we're going to do here is I'm going to, uh, you probably already know, but I'm going to have you go ahead and touch the blade. You now, you never want to do this at home with a typical blender because they're very sharp blades. They're it's, brittle. It's they're usually razor sharp. Dull blade. It's a dull blade, and it's very thick, too. So you don't have to worry about it breaking make blades. It doesn't make any sense. And the dough blade actually helps perform our, our machines better. In fact, cheap blades are just a, a compensation for cheap machines. Is that right? High performance blenders use dull blades because they perform better. Yeah. Now, one of the things that we can do with our particular blade, in the same blade, the same jar, we can use the machine as a grinder or a mill. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of different uh, if different machines have the capability of doing such a thing. They usually have to sell you a different component. Okay. This is the exact same blade, same jar. Now, I could do this.
this whole bowl or I could do two cups at a time of any type of grain. Whole wheat grain into whole wheat flour. You can do unpopped kernels of corn to make cornmeal. Yeah. Take rice like this and make a rice flour for gluten-free recipes. Oh, yeah. You can even take something as simple as sugar and make powdered sugar. Oh now, I'm only going to put a little bit in there because I want to show the power of the machine. As soon as we turn this on, it's, it's going to be like... under the blade. Yeah, it's going to be okay. a hurricane. It's going to lift all that right off the base of the jar immediately, and it's going to blend this very quickly. So I'm just going to take this up to a top speed for just a few seconds, and we're already going to have a very, very smooth rice flour. Now, I know that many of you are trying to get in and order. Remember, we have colors for you. You can choose it in that color that Shane's using. That's called slate gray. We also have it in pomegranate, which is the red. Orchid is that really deep, beautiful purple. And then we also have black. Your item number here is 668777. We are down to our final quantities on this one. But look now at what you've done. Out. It's like- It's already there. It's so fine. And that's, again, any grain. So if you could take something as, uh, like powdered sugar, for instance, you put sugar in there, you can make powdered sugar in less than 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Now, the longer that you blend, obviously, the finer that it gets, but you can really control the consistency of whatever type of grain that you're using yeah, as well. Yeah, and let me tell you, those, you know, wheat-free flours, <laughs> and I mean, those are really expensive, too. Oh. I had a moment where I was dealing mm -hmm. with issues, and I was like, I can't, oh, this is ridiculous Short how much they cost. Short shelf life, and they're a fortune, too. You want to yeah. buy rice flour at a store? It's not cheap. I know. So Sorry, this I'll is the citrus berry smoothie. Sorry, i and grilled cheese over what we're gonna do get done here is we're going to go ahead and do this smoothie. This is one of my kids' favorites. Citrus okay. berry is uh, amazing. I, of course, throw greens in there. Okay. And then we'll actually start a soup. The soup cycle is a three-minute cycle, and so okay. we're going to bring it over here and get it started, and then we'll go to the next thing here, too, as well. I love the idea of soup because in a machine. there's nothing like a <laughs> yummy, warm soup with before fresh, your meal. With fresh vegetables. If you want to talk <laughs> about an easy way to try to lose weight, fill yourself up with a real soup with fresh ingredients, not out of a can, not loaded in sodium, not loaded in mystery preservatives. I mean, this is one of the main reasons people buy the Blendtec. And remember, this is technology that the pros rely on. You need that power. This is made in the U.S. And the blender alone is over $400. I'm just saying, the blender by itself is over $400. The 37 ounce twister jar for your peanut butters, almond butters, that is $130 value by itself. We're including that for you. So it is an amazing reason to shop with us here at HSN. Here's the thing, I'm down to my last quantities. Jared, would you give me a solid number on how many we have left? Okay, so we've got the final 930, Shane. We are oh. under a thousand of these left. If you want it, Moving all quickly. these colors still available. Let's make soup. Let's make soup. So this is a carrot apple soup. I know it sounds a little bit interesting because yeah. there's apples and carrots mixing together, but it's delicious. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the Icon Soup Syrups and Fondues. Okay. That runs for three minutes mm -hmm. and it shuts us off down when it's done. So we'll get this started and we'll go right back to another recipe and mm -hmm. just come back. Now once again, wow. how that works is by using the friction of the blade. Oh my gosh. Look at all those carrots that were immediate, immediately blended. And slate gray is the most popular right now, which is this guy here. Don't forget. Here's your orchid, which is that beautiful plum purple. We also have it in the pomegranate, which is the red. And we have it in the black as well. Um, we're gonna move that soup. I mean, that soup, you didn't have to babysit it. No. Nope. You didn't have to find your can opener. You're not worried about, am I gonna be bloated tomorrow because it's laden in salt and you're not even supposed to be <laughs> eating out of a can. I mean, I do, I have tomato sauces and stuff like that, but you know what? You don't even have to do that when you have an appliance like this. No preservatives, no sodiums. What, you know exactly what is going into your food, which is right. the most important part. Right. When we buy canned foods, you never really understand what is actually going in there. You look like you need another smoothie. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I mean, look at this. And you know, adults out there, you can put something something in there, a oh, little man. happy in there if you wanted to. That is so good. Oh, so good. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, well, we're doing a soup. So we're gonna show you a treat next. We're gonna do an ice cream where we're gonna use the twister jar. Now you can do an ice cream in the regular jar as well. This is a blueberry ice cream. We're gonna throw, show it in, in the twister jar as well and show you how easy it is to do like a frozen sorbet, frozen ice creams, anything that you wanna make that's thick. Again, the twister jar is a great tool for that. So this does not have auto ship. I know that Junior was saying, I don't want this on auto ship, LOL. Um, that, <laughs> that, that, that does not have auto ship. You will not keep getting a blender every couple of days. I just wanna make that clear to you. Uh, your item number here is 668-777. 
Uh, this is that twisty jar, you guys. It's $130. You're getting it included today included. at no additional charge to you. That's awesome. It comes awesome. with its own recipe book. It comes with, I, I even forgot, it comes with the Spectacula. <laughs> now, I, I always feel weird saying that, but it's a, it's a spectacular. So you don't want to say sticky and thicky, yes. but you can say spectacular. Spectacular, okay. right? That's the actual physical name. But it does have a kickstand, too. So if you have a nut butter or something that's really dirty on the cool. inside or on it, it keeps it from getting on the countertop. Okay. So it's really, really smart. Now, we're going to go ahead and make this ice cream. Oh, push the wrong button, but that's okay. Now, do you see, too, that you have the pre-programmed settings? So you don't have to guess. I mean, it's got a little picture for crying out loud. So remember, it's your batters and sauces, your ice crush margarita. I love that, because I mean, even a frozen lemonade is better than a regular lemonade. How about a smoothie? You've got an ice cream button, you've got the whole juices, and you've got the soups, and it's making that blending easy. Exactly. And you made me ice cream, fresh I made you ice, cream. ice cream. You can control <laughs> the ingredients. Hey, I love that blend tech recipe with the with the that tastes like a creamsicle. Oh, and there's yeah, cabbage the, and carrots oh, in there. Oh, that's excellent too. It's like my favorite ice cabbage, cream. Cabbage, carrots. I make a green ice cream with avocado, with a little bit of almond extract and some protein powder, and what? it is an amazing ice cream. We'll, we'll do that on our next little area. Oh, but we'll look show at that. that off. And that's the real consistency, and that's like guilt-free ice cream. Guilt -free. You can have a cup of this every night before bed and not have to worry about what <laughs> you've a, done. That's a cup full of antioxidants that's very good for you. Mm, okay, so I'm gonna, at the risk of turning my teeth purple, I'm gonna do it, people. Don't make fun of me when I have blueberries oh, in my to. teeth. I'm mm. a little jealous, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste too. That is so good. Oh. Yeah, it's really good. There's no store-bought ice cream that tastes like that. Oh, so good. Okay, and it only what took me, now? what, 20 seconds of yeah. blending time? Now, this uh, is an American staple. All of us make mac and cheese for mm -hmm. our kids. We're gonna teach you how to do it in your own blender so you know what the ingredients are. You don't have to feel guilty about doing a cheat meal for your kids. And it's still inexpensive, but you're using whole food ingredients. Not some mystery orange powder, yeah, none, right? None, I've done that too. I grew up on that, that stuff. You're just like, it's oh terrible. man, what is in this stuff? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use my manual speed with this. It's only gonna take a little while. Now, if you wanted to make it really hot too, you can run it for as long as you want to while it's hot. And then we're gonna go back over the soup while we get this running, and yeah. uh, we'll check this soup out real quick. By the way, Celine or Celine? Celine, I hope I said it right, is on. Hi, Leslie, hi, everyone. Hi, Celine, we're so happy you're here. Junior's on, Dean is on. Dean says, hi, Shane. Um, thank you for uh, chatting with us and getting social with us on HSN's Facebook page. What you're watching here is the world famous Blendtec. They're here yeah. at HSN. They're made proudly in the United States. By the way, we didn't even talk about an above industry standard eight year warranty. You know, so this is a product designed, manufactured, engineered, all of it right here in the US. And you know what? You're gonna probably donate and get rid of many appliances because we're doing everything with this one guy. What, what appliance do you have that has an eight year warranty? Uh -huh. There's nothing in your house that has that long of warranty. Now, go ahead and zoom in on this. You can already see that it's hot. You can see it coming up uh, my, yeah. my, uh, my apron here. Let's go ahead and pour it out in your soup bowl. Oh my god! If you add some avocado any, to any recipe too, avocado, a little secret, will make everything very, very creamy mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want it even more creamy and stuff like that, oh. You do have a blueberry. <laughs> <laughs> you were worried about that and I, I got, I got hit with me. it. Yeah. That's all I can say. A little garnish on top. But you know, for example, my parents, my dad was feeling under the weather. All he could eat was soups for a very long time. Yeah. And and, you know, what were we doing? Well, my mom was making homemade soup. It was a lot harder to do. But for days where he wanted a soup and he wanted it now, she was opening up these mystery pouches. You don't have to do that anymore. You've probably got a drawer full of something fresh in the fridge. Throw it in there. You know, any of those flavors you love, the soup comes out hot. That's the power of this blend tech. And it doesn't in three minutes. There's not another blender on the market that can do it that quick. And I want to taste it. Celine says <laughs> that good. soup looks delicious. I'm going to tell you right now, Celine. Because I swear I would buy this just for the frozen margaritas, just for the nut butters and the soups alone. Seriously. <laughs> so you think about all the appliances that we've already replaced. Yeah, what did you, you got put your in whole that? juicer, your grinder, your and smoothie you maker, your guy? soup maker. Now Tell that's me. that's carrot apple soup. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's good, right? And it's almost it feels creamy, but there's no cream in there. No. Mm. Not at all. All the ingredients are perfectly blended. And if you even want to add a little bit of protein in there, you can put pre-cooked meat. Anything Gosh. that you want to, you can stick it in the jar, just pulse it in, and then you have a chunky soup as well. Mm, that just like hugs your bones. So remember, $579 value. It's worth it to buy Blendtec here. And I'm, I'm gonna, while Shane keeps going, we still have so much to show you. 
That is real cheese that we have just created in our blend tech. I swear. It's I like want to dive into that bowl head first. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. That's, that's so the good. type of mac and cheese that, uh, that grown-ups not like. <laughs> Ooh, that's so good. Now, we'll eat it with the kids. These reviews are outstanding, oh. Shane. And I will, sorry, I disappeared yeah, off no the camera. Hi there. Um, <laughs> uh, it says, just make the purchase. You won't be disappointed. Made the ice cream, have made many soups. Um, these are review after review. One person said, great blender, mixer, food processor, juicer, ice cream maker. You won't be disappointed. I use it every day. These are reviews on hsn.com right now. And you know, I have bought blenders before where after like a year, guess what? It's going in the trash because it died out or the motor stopped running, right? Or, yep. you know, if you're